Hi, um, I'm gonna show you today how to take your wraps off. You know when your wraps have been on for a week, 10 days, two weeks, five days if you have some that you really wanna put on. However long they've been on, you need to find a good way to take them off. And the best thing you can do for your nails is to take them off correctly. So, truly, this is the best stuff out there to take your wraps off, obviously. It's Wrap and Lacquer Remover. It's Jamberry, and Jamberry made this specifically to take off our wraps and our lacquers. So I highly recommend that you get this. It is, like I said, the best thing out there to take off your wraps safely um, so that you don't get damaged from your removal process. Do not ever, ever, ever just peel them off. I guarantee eventually you'll end up with damage on your nails from that. Now, the wraps will not damage your nails in and of themselves, but if you don't take care of them, if you don't prep your nails properly before you put them on, if you don't take care of them while they're on and if you don't take them off, you will have damage on your nails. Um, so make sure that you're using cuticle oil every day. That's not in here. Um, and prep them properly and remove them properly. So I'm going to show you in this series of, of little videos, I'm going to show you everything um, on my dominant hand. So I'm right handed, so I'm going to show you how to t use your left hand, your non-dominant hand to take them off so that you see just um, that this isn't just a trick that you'll only be able to do um, with your dominant hand. It's easy enough that you can do it with your non-dominant hand and then both hands will have a great application um, and removal. Okay, so I put like two pumps of the wrap and lacquer remover on my little uh, cotton disc. You can use um, cotton balls, you can use cloth, you can use um, whatever. I just bought these discs and so that's what I have. So you break the seal with one of your other nails and then just um, rub the um, cotton disc or whatever you're using with the wrap and lacquer remover underneath and always go from side to side don't go top to bottom don't go cuticle to tip go side to side um, and just gently work it through um, and then it'll come off um, and if you have to um, break the seal a little bit more you can do that um, sometimes if it gets crooked it's a little harder to do but you can see I'm just working it across see now we're about halfway done work it across work it across um, just gently don't force it just make sure you get that wrap and lacquer remover in between the wrap and your nail um, because that's where the adhesive is and if you had a good seal on it um, it'll still be on there so wrap is off nail is good um, and then there's enough um, on here that I could probably do another one I usually just wipe them off good to get any last residue off um, but you can also, if you have an old uh, eyeshadow brush, um, you can dip that in the wrap and lacquer remover. I this one is really good, but I find it, it is a little more challenging for me with my non-dominant hand. So, all right, so I'm gonna break the seal on this one, um, and you just brush that right underneath it. Can you see? I'm kind of at a weird angle too with this. Okay, so then you just use that and you just use the brush to get it right underneath. Um, same uh, philosophy, just getting it uh, right in between the nail and the wrap and you just kind of use the brush to push it over. <laughs> like I said, I do feel awkward doing this one with my non-dominant so that's why I usually stick with the um, cotton circles or cotton balls that's just easier for me especially like I said when I'm doing it with my left hand on my right hand um, but we're getting there it's almost off you could also you could break the seal on the other side and meet in the middle um, but like I said, don't go top to bottom. Um, that damages the top layer of your nail. Always go side to side. Use the wrap and lacquer remover. Um, if you really, I can't stress enough 
how good the wrap and lacquer remover is. But if you don't want to invest in, um, you can use regular nail polish remover, except that has acetone in it, which really will dry out your nails. Um, and it's just, it's not as good. You can heat some oil, olive oil, coconut oil, um, and do the same thing, get that oil underneath because that's one of the things that um, the wraps don't adhere to oil very well, uh, which is why you wash your hands right away before and use the um, nail cleanser to make sure you get all the oil off of your hands before you try and apply them. Um, or you can even, um, I've heard that like lemon essential oil uh, works really well to get it off. I haven't actually tried it, mostly just because I love this method and this product. Um, and it's super, I mean, it's for wraps and lacquers and it is so good for the lacquers too. Um, my daughters, and it's safe enough that they can do it on their own. Uh, and I don't have any lacquer on right now or I'd show you, but it really does such a good job. All right, I'm just getting frustrated with that. So I'm just gonna finish it up with my cotton because it's just easier for me. But um, don't let that don't let that scare you away. Um, really easy. So we're almost done here. There you have it. So another one off, and like I said, that was on my cotton ball, like two two uh, pumps of the the wrap and lacquer remover. So. I'm going to get these all off today and I'll be back to talk some more about nail prep and show you my nail prep with um, on my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand. So, all right. So if you have any questions, just comment below this and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.